welcome to your daily news. Today we'll be talking about Five Nights at Freddy, a U.S. Senator, and then we've got Elder Scrolls Adventure, and Nintendo. So let's jump right into that news. At the end of this month, you know, there's one bundle for uh, $2.99 that's just a game and the headset, or you can pay $3.49 and get two of the PS4 motion controllers or whatever they call them, their move controllers. Um, so yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's going VR on the PS4. So if you like the games and want to try it in VR, head over to your uh, New Year's store, pick up the VR headset, maybe buy the game if you already have it, and have fun playing it in VR. There is a U.S. Senator that is trying to pass a bill in the U.S., obviously, that will, that will no longer allow loot boxes and microtransactions in video games. So, they'll goodbye all those microtransactions on, nine, I want to say probably like 90% of your games. There might still be a way for like free-to-play games somehow to have microtransactions. I'm not really sure how this is going to work or what the actual details are. But getting rid of loot boxes for sure that... People have been saying that it um, is a form of gambling and it leads to gambling somehow. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could consider be leading to gambling in a way. Um, so they're starting to work towards banning these in video games. So we'll have to see what happens, where this goes, and what the actual details are. So in the U.S., uh, EA might not be able to put any more microtransactions and loot boxes in their games because... They seem to shoehorn it into every game they make nowadays to make extra money. So we'll have to see in the coming future when this goes on to the floor and see if it passes. So Bethesda recently released a pen and paper version of Elder Scrolls called Elder Scrolls Adventure. And they are being accused of D&D uh, &D for plagiarizing one of their... Uh, books called D and D Adventure: The Black Road, and it, according to them, it's basically sentence for sentence copied over into the Elder Scrolls Adventure, except for a minor, like couple name, uh, some name changes and uh, some words changed. But otherwise, it's basically sentence for sentence that has been plagiarized, which is crazy that uh, they would do this because. Uh, They've already came up with so many great stories, and I don't know why they couldn't do it again and um, come up with one instead of stealing it straight from this D&D uh, &D book, which is crazy. Um, so they pulled the books, and we're waiting to see what happens. Um, I'm pretty sure they won't get to release the book, or they'll have to make some big changes, or they'll have to play royalty or something to D&D uh, &D for, for what they did. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future and how this gets settled. Um, so we'll bring that news to you when that happens. So the Nintendo Direct for E3 has been announced and will take place June 11th at 9 a.m. This is specific standard time because it's happening in California. So it looks like all the major... Um, Companies that are still going to have a, an E3 presence, like a press conference of some sort, will have been announced. We know uh, e, um, Sony won't be there, but we'll also get um, uh, all the other ones. And maybe, just throw my hat out there, you, you never know when someone's going to show up at E3 with a press conference. You know, it was crazy when Bethesda did it a few years ago. And we've had some on and off showing some like, Konami and Capcom and you never know who's going to show up and going to try to do a press conference, you know. But now that they're all announced, we'll just have to wait until the beginning of June and we'll bring you a lot of news that comes out from E3. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like the content that we make here. Also, comment down below what you think about uh, Bethesda plagiarizing a D&D &D campaign book. Uh, it's pretty crazy that you did that, but I would like to hear what you got to think. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, support us on Patreon so you can bring videos like this and videos on our other channels.
Also, go to teespring.com, purchase our merch, and post it on social media, link in the description, and show us that you are a true fan.